I want to stand up and say enough is enough and it's time to ed um, educate them. Are you talking about the Sudanese community in yes. Australia? Yes, I am talking about the Sudanese community in Australia. Um, the elderly, their mindset is back at home and um, it's kind of too late to get into their heads right now but we can always start with the young, with our generation and teach them that you know what, it is never okay to rape, it is never okay to steal, crime is never okay. If you're a criminal, there are punishments and consequences. And just because we're from the same country, that doesn't mean that that gives me the right to give you a pass on the things that you committed. Australians need to get punished for the crimes that they make. They, they get sentenced to prison because we're keeping the community safe, we're keeping the streets safe for our future generations. And if we're just letting them run loose, nobody's going to be safe. Are you embarrassed by your uh, compatriots? Um, um, it's such a shame because... Wait, what? Sorry. Are you embarrassed by the behaviour of some of your fellow Sudanese? I am. I am really embarrassed because, you know, when I walk down the street or when people see me and see that I'm Sudanese, they just automatically assume that I'm a criminal or, you know, part of Apex or, um, you know, I'm just here to take advantage. But not really because we came here for freedom and we came here to benefit our lives. And um, what they are doing right now, it's not only tarnishing them, but it's also punching our image because there are no good people in our community that are, with, that are willing to change or who are willing to stand up for the crimes that they, that they are doing. But we can't do that because we are seen in a bad light. And it's time for us to just keep quiet. It's time for us to stop keeping quiet and start speaking up on those issues, about those issues. We need to start holding community meetings, inviting all these elderly or these young teenagers and start educating them more and start finding ways to prevent them from turning or taking that path of life. Now, Adai, you're a model. Do you want to use the Miss World Australia Beauty with a Purpose to educate those who don't know what's going on and also educate those that are transgressing against the laws of Australia? You know, with Miss World Australia Beauty with a Purpose, for me, it is an opportunity to speak up and empower everyone, you know, because um, there is more to just beauty. <laughs> um, people are quick to say, oh, well, you know, you're really pretty, so your life is easy. So I, I want to take this as an opportunity to speak up on the things that people are afraid to speak up on. I want to shed light. And Miss um, World Australia, Beauty with a Purpose, has given me that stage and that confidence and has empowered me to speak up. Do you like modeling? I love modeling. I mean, at first when I first started it, uh, I started to run away from my problems. But then down the road, I enjoy shooting. I enjoy walking down the runway, and um, it's a it, it opened so much, so many doors. Especially speaking up, I, I never had the confidence, and you know now I am able to speak on these things because I finally find a voice, and with this voice. I also found a uh, an organization that's willing to help me share it. And that is why I decided to do the Beauty with a Purpose. So your most immediate aspiration is to win Miss World Australia? I hope to win it, but um, that is not my main focus. My main focus is to try and bring people together with this um, Beauty with a Purpose. It's not always about winning, win or lose. It's about who's going to listen and who's willing to help those who are in pain, who are suffering mental health, or you know, who have no one to turn to. And I mean, it will be nice to win, but it will also be nice to win the hearts of the, um, of the people in Australia and of my community, and you know, have them step in and help us instead of forgetting about us and saying that it's too late. It's never too late. Speaking of, just one more from me, speaking of those who you want to listen, did the police listen at the time when this atrocity happened? Yes, um, when I reported the incident to the police in the 